<laughs> uh, it's so absurd, yeah. <laughs> this is how the sensor version looks. <laughs> it's so absurd. See, I'm, I'm gonna go back. I mean, she's fully dressed, though. She's even fully dressed. <laughs> oh my god! We gotta get back to that scene. That was absurd. She was bending over and it was just like <laughs> her ass just covering the whole screen. It's just a tickiest doggy crawl I've ever. <laughs> this anime, though. I love this anime, yeah. Like, come on, half the episode is like her. He's like, oh, I'm gonna like, bend over and pick up like him. <laughs> her ass and her, or her boobs. Censorship is his finest. <laughs> <laughs> so hello everyone, Monten here, because we talk about Isekai Harem, you know. Back last week, we're gonna watch, you know, we're gonna review both the non-censored and censored right? Because I feel you have to found right? It's watching the episode, watching the man counter episode, and then look at the censorship and be like, oh, it's just like boxes everywhere. Like, it's kind of, I, I think, half for great. But for that matter, also check out this video, right, I made, I made a video last week about censorship uh, on Screen Enix new app, right? That has this kind of censorship, which is just crazy. If I see you, I heavily recommend it. It is it's insanely good. Like, no, but the video is good, but I mean, the action system is hilarious. So if you go to their app and look at their mangas, they're censoring like a knee, censoring this woman's jeans, they're censoring like. Uh, that mantra is kind of funny because, you know, it has like, got massive op right? They're never censoring her op but they're censoring her short shorts in every sense. So it's like, that's a big sense either. And like, this is crazy. And if you need to put a is manga on their app, there is this scene where there are gore and death, you know, and so on. That's not censored, right? At all. But they understand that we read up by someone. Yeah, it's like this kind of thing. Like this weird black box. It's hilarious. So, shut that out. Thickness. <laughs> the anime thickness all the time. But I mean, yeah, how is she so good at everything, right? How is she so powerful? <laughs> like, the anime is like, she's quite pretty. Yeah, 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 yeah. She's quite attractive, yeah. He's like, <laughs> this is how sensible she looks. <laughs> it's so absurd. See, I'm, I'm gonna go back. I mean, she's fully dressed though. She's even fully dressed there. So I'm, I'm like I said that's week. I'm gonna go back and forth between watching the both versions. I have both versions, of course, so we can compare them, right? Uh, but that, that's why I think sensible is kind of funny because she's clearly fully dressed, right? She's fully dressed, but they're censoring. It, it, it's coming to the screenies level, right? But that's actually going to this level, where she was fully dressed, yet they were censoring her, you know, voluptuous uh, tickness, right? Of course, it makes it look actually more sexy than it should be, right? Because then you're imagining that she's naked under censoring, but uh, who she isn't. She's just fully dressed, right? Because, yeah, she's big, you know, she's thick, right? But she's dressed under it, right? So, <laughs> it's kind of the same thing there, but if you haven't seen it, uh, it's like... <laughs> It's a goblin say example, yeah. They're kind of like covering up her. Uh, <laughs> she's standing there for the clothes. She got that video, yeah. It's but I mean, now they're basically having an adventure. Yeah, now it's like an adventure anime. I wonder how good. I hope it's gonna be better now because there are two of them, right? They're more damaged because he sounds like a really big noob, though. He probably is consumed. Okay, yeah. She's like, yeah, yeah, magic because if you can sell them, if you can sell those stuff. So he is. I like that we keep showing her. I mean, yeah, she's fully dressed, but she's so absurd. Like, every scene keeps, like, zooming in her boobs, right? They're like, look at how big she is. Yeah, look at the cleavage. She's like, yes. Yes, yes, she's big. <laughs> this is why I watched that anime before, though. It's so absurd. He's like, yeah! <laughs> what a main character. What a main character. Tick is dogging crawler ever, yeah. He's just like, yeah! <laughs> Does he want to go back? He's like, do you want to go back to Japan if you have, like, <laughs> you know? No, I won't go back home. <laughs> no, 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 no. He's like, I probably can't go back home, and I don't want to go back home. <laughs> like, it, I mean, I, I said it again, right? I said this a side note, but almost every isekai, right? You don't want to go back home, right? That's why I always said it. If you've ever played Final Fantasy is Advanced, it's a crazy story in ever. You're playing the main character, and your life sucks in, in, you know, in Earth, right? He's like, we're gonna go back home! <laughs> like, he's the bad guy, okay? You're the bad guy, I should video, but he's, he's the bad guy. The one time you're playing as a villain is, uh, yeah, you're playing as a villain, man, in that game. He's an, he's an isekai and their life sucks and he's like, beat up his brother and girlfriend and forced them to go back to Earth. They're like, we don't want to go back to Earth! I'm in a wheelchair! You go back home, boy! I need to make a video, remind me, I need to make a video about that game, Fantasy. If you're playing as a bad guy in these guys. <laughs> it's all the scenes. The anime is, is only thickness, man. The anime is only here for the labyrinth. I mean, obviously they have a boss in the labyrinth, but do you kill the actual labyrinth then? Like the labyrinth goes away or something? <laughs> oh my god! We gotta get back to that scene, that was absurd! She was bending over and it was just like, <laughs> her ass just covering the whole screen. It's just the thickest dunking crawler ever. Oh my god. 
She's na she's not she's really fully clothing, but that scene was so absurd. <laughs> oh my god. Oh this anime. Oh my god. They know what we want, man. It's just the thickness. It's be like you're a mage now, Roxanne! Yeah, you can like you can change. I think there is some interesting parts of the anime actually, right? From an actual gaming standpoint, gaming anime standpoint. It is somewhat interesting that they're actually having like, okay, so to get this skill I need to use, you know, this weapon or I need to be unarmed or uh, if I kill this enemy with fire magic then I can get this skill. So they're clearly trying to look, there's a lot of like requirements to unlock different skills or so on, right? or, or uh, jobs or whatever. Stealer. It's a frag stealer! Did you defeat it? <laughs> yeah, I pushed him one more! Okay, hmm, frag stealing! This is very video gaming now, you know, you need to like, oh no, I, need, I do too much damage, so I need to like, uh, faint attack, lower my defense. I was a monk! What do you need to me, man? You can't just make me a monk! I'm a beast warrior, now you're a monk now! <laughs> Keep it a secret! This is like, it's either amazing or it's abusive, yeah. I'm a beast lady, now you're you're a monk now! Who lied to the did it last week though, absolutely right. He actually, you know, managed to score right, because too many horror main characters have a million opportunities, but they actually never do it, right? But for this in here, as if it's at the lame now, honestly, because now he's like wiping off the sweat of her on her body, right? But like they did it last episode, so this feels like, kind of unnecessary. It's like this is like super, super foreplay, right? It's like yeah, but last episode you you went way further than this, right? So if it's a little bit like obviously it's very thick and he's showing the op eyes again, but yeah, I would rather see them actually just do it here, right? Honestly, you know what I mean? It would fit more the storyline. That they actually just has intercourse here instead of like, oh, I'm gonna massage you or something because they're already they're already in you know in the what's it they're already at eleven based on whatever right he's like she's a slave or whatever yeah, they're already you know going all the way right if it's weird that they're gonna this scene is like less than last episode uh, not just on time wise but actually what they're actually doing uh, oh now though this might get dirty. Now she's gonna clean him though. Yeah, now we might let Shin Hentai there. Oh, I'm so sweaty after all the fight. Can you please clean my. I uh... know oh, the kissing is the one, yeah. But I mean, before the scene before that was like, oh, I need, you need to clean my uh, underwear, my slave lady. <laughs> but a little bit like, okay. And uh, now they are. Oh, this is kind of the promo. Yeah, this door looks like the promo, right? Definitely. The first boss, I guess. Exactly, the first boss. So no, next episode, I guess it's the first boss in the game. It's probably the spider from the opening, right? The opening has her avoiding a spider with a big ass. That's what I expected straight up, honestly. I expected this episode to be less etchy hand than as we were. Because this episode was like, this is the first time they're doing it. It's like half the episode. It's like bam, 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 right? You know, it's like all this stuff. It's all like, oh, I bring up as well. This was much more like, okay, we had an adventure. We went down there, we leveled up, we could become a monk, blah, blah, blah. And then it's like, Two minutes left, three minutes left, uh, let's have sex, you know. <laughs> it's like, and also we did it on the side, yeah, this was, this was more like, and then we go home and we smack, you know. It was kind of like that. Right? But honestly, it did, it did feel a little silly how, obviously they are already at, you know, full dating, right? They were married or whatever, right? And they already, they already done it. So it feels a little silly how the first, this whole scene was basically like, oh, I'm so sweaty. Can you please, you know, clean my back or something? Yeah, it felt very like, oh, we never touched before. This felt strange. Uh, in that sense, I kind of wish they kind of went into more. Yeah, I had to say honestly, I think I think it'd be better, right, if we skipped over this foreplay and we went into the you know the nasty business, right. Of course, we only for like two minutes, but then we have two minutes of that instead of having two minutes of like, oh, your hands are so big. <laughs> it felt a little bit like, haven't we already done this? Or have we already passed? That? I love this part though. She's fully dressed. This makes no sense. This part was insane. She's wearing like a leather uniform or something. Yeah, like why are they? This uh, this is why you have to watch both versions, right? You have to go back and forth because this was hilarious. This doesn't make any sense, seriously. I mean, it looks kind of like skin color, but not really. I mean, she's like a white woman, right? Yeah, like, like this is weird. Like you see it here, right? Like that's how she looks, you know. She's, she's just like wearing a, a leather uniform or a leather, you know, like a leather armor or whatever, right? Yeah, she got a very big tits, right? But it's like, you know, like why are they censoring that? It seriously got into that manga up feeling that I talked about last week, I mentioned earlier in the video, where you're like, okay, so a woman, again, fully dressed, right? See you me here, fully dressed. I can move my, my, my own platform here, right? You know, she's fully dressed, yeah, there's, there's no naked in here, she's fully dressed. Uh, just, a, you know, just a woman that's very, very thick, right? 
Why are they censoring that, right? I mean, put it in paint here. Let's say I did this thing, you know? She's fully dressed, but I'm like, <laughs> I draw a black square over it. That's how it feels like. Like, why? Like, she's completely dressed. You just look silly, right? It looks, it looks worse. See, it makes no sense. It just, it makes it look way worse. That's why, that's why it's hilarious looking at the censor version as well, because, yeah, it, it just makes no sense. Like, what? She's wearing a... I mean, here's stuff actually happening, right? Still, it didn't actually have in the caution episode, right? Um, yeah, this, this is skipped over that, but I mean, here it, it is actually happens stuff, and this box makes no sense either because you actually don't see anything under it, right? If I, if I, if I remove the box here, it's nothing there. It's just air. It's just oxygen right there. So again, makes no sense that they have this thing, right? It really doesn't. Uh, but at some scenes, at least here, sensory made sense, right? Uh, but half the episode definitely reminded me of the Manga Up app. <laughs> this anime, you know? I love this anime, yeah. Like, come on, half the episode is like her. He's like, oh, I'm gonna bend over and pick up like him. <laughs> her ass and her, or her boobs or master, right? Yeah, there was half the episode is like her, like, oh, let's tag, let's fight this thing, master. And the camera's on her gi giant cleavage or whatever. Right? This is so absurd. I mean, I find it funny. Uh, that being said, though, yeah, the actual interesting, like, the actual fight thing is interesting, right? Like, you know, he's like, oh, I need to kill this thing with uh, a normal attack, so I need to injure it, then I need to punish it. It kind of feels like Pokemon or whatever, right? Like, oh, I need to capture this thing, but then I first have to weaken it, or this thing, or, and so on, yeah. So that was pretty interesting, uh, but I do think it's probably better than the one anime version, right? Because, as I said in the reaction part, the anime usually skip over that stuff, right? Like, almost all these kind of animes, they always skip over so much details, right? Like, how the level grows. How does it work? Look at that, you know, I'm a spider, so what, right? That anime has so much data and level and skills, and the anime skips over spelling up half of them, right? It's kind of hard to be like, oh, what's happening, right? So, but that's pretty good, though. But yeah, I think the episode's pretty good. I do think it was strange, though, that they're doing this, like, you know, base one, kind of like, oh, I'm so sweaty, right? They should be at, like, you know, base 55, right? And that probably would make more sense to an anime. Uh, lastly, I guess, uh, I wonder if the, they're probably gonna find a boss for the spider right, in this episode. And then after the spider, they're gonna pick up the next crew party member, right? So I do still look forward to seeing how they're gonna have their like dating and is he actually gonna have like a harem thing, right? And I mean like literal harem, where not only he has more than one wife, but he's like you know smashing them all at the same time. I do hope the next uh, etchy scene is gonna be him with actually you know two girls, right? And they're gonna show some weirdness how they're gonna maybe be jealous or net or whatever. I hope it's gonna expand a little bit on that actually, right? Because. Because he's actually doing it like, with with his members, you know, which is different than most horror protagonists, he's actually scoring. I hope it's gonna be a little more rivalry or more like, oh, I wanna do it too, or oh, I like to do it with her or something. You know, yeah, I wanna see them, you know, do something more storytelling that right. Uh, maybe I please subscribe, press the like button, and have a great day.